Hey, what's up? It's Jake, and we're going to talk about my favorite Terraform command ever, and that is Terraform Taint. No, it's not useful. Uh, it's just fun to say. So, what is Terraform Taint? So, it, uh, it tells Terraform, hey, this object is either no good anymore, it's damaged, it's uh, degraded, whatever, and it'll mark it as tainted. Um, so, Terraform will propose to replace it in the next plan that you create. So let's taint something. Um, if we want a force replacement, you can absolutely just use replace. Uh, so let's say I'm doing, let's just make sure this is all good. My Terraform format is good. Do I have a valid run? Mm, yes, I do. Yes, I do. OK, uh, let's run a Terraform plan and see what happens. It's going to say, hey, I don't need to update anything. Everything looks great, but let's say I'm on I'm on AWS and I'm like, eh, this thing is broken. I need to actually fix something because there's no changes I'm going to play. Uh, so I could I could run a Terraform taint and say, let me show you. If you run Terraform taint, and just hit enter. You can kind of see what your options are. You need to pass it something. So like AWS underscore instance dot foo, right? Or hey dot bar and then give me a list. Uh, a position in an array or a list that will, you know, tell you what to delete. Uh, so I could do AWS ALB listener dot Terraform ALB listener, and we could taint that and see what happens. What do you think? Should we just start tainting stuff? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so let's do Terraform taint AWS underscore ALB underscore listener because my listener is just broken dot Terraform ALB listener. We're going to taint that sucker. Let's see what happens. Resource has been marked as tainted. Releasing state lock. And it's all good. So now what happens? Well, now if you were to run a Terraform um, apply, what do you think is going to happen? Well, it, we marked it as tainted. And I said that the net, it'll propose to replace it in the next plan. So let's look, it's going to do a refresh and it's going to give me this. Uh oh, look at that. My listener is tainted, so it must be replaced. So they're going to replace it. How nice of them. And then I'll get a new one. Should we do that? Low balancers take forever to finish. Let's just, no, we're not going to do that. Um, so that's, that's how taint would work. That's what it does. However, um, that's actually not the best way to do it. As of version 0.15.2, this command is deprecated because there are better alternatives available um, for anything later than that. So if you're on anything earlier than 15.2, then you're fine. You can use taint and uh, just hit yes, and it'll replace your resource. However, if you're on a different version, like me, uh, you can see Terraform version, I'm on 1.0.9 then you can do something different. So if I do a Terraform apply, instead of marking it tainted, um, which, fun fact, you can also untaint something. I can say, ah, I was just kidding. Uh, user error, uh, it's, it's not tainted, everything's fine. And now if I run a Terraform plan, uh, you, you'll see that there's there's nothing wrong it won't say it's going to replace it anymore so let's just do a little state refresh and what do we got hmm it's got to my listener and it's like we need to refresh the state he said it was tainted but now he says it's untainted so we got to untaint that and update the state file and make sure everybody knows that hey leave this load balancer alone this load balancer never did anything to hurt anyone and it's all good no str no changes are required so how would you actually change this in in a more recent version well you would use the replace flag so dash replace equals and then you would do the aws underscore alb underscore listener dot what did i call it terraform alb listener so you would do that instead um if your intent is a force replacement on this, um, then you can do that. And, the, and Terraform recommends using dash replace option with the apply. You can create a plan with the replace option, which is actually better.
better than Terraform Taint because it allows you to see the full effect of the change before you take any externally visible action. So when you use Terraform Taint, you get a similar effect, but you risk uh, someone else on your team creating a new plan against your tainted object before you've had a chance to review the consequences of the change yourself. So the replace option to Terraform Apply is only available, like I said, in version 0.15.2 or onward. So if you're using an earlier version, you, you need to use Terraform Taint to force object replacement. Um, you know, so that's, uh, that's essentially it. So if I want to replace this sucker, I could be like Terraform Apply dash replace equals give it the name of the resource and it'll refresh my state and say, hey, your thing you just said needs to be replaced. Uh, uh, so we're going to replace this as requested. Would you like to do that? Yeah, sure. Why not? Go ahead. And then this will take forever because those things take forever to build. Apply complete. We now have a new, uh, oh wait, this is a listener. Never mind. I thought I was replacing my load balancer. Listeners are easy. So now we have a new listener. Sweet. So that's a uh, Terraform taint in a nutshell. I hope you uh, enjoy watching me taint things and untaint things and replace things. And if you have any questions, let me know.